Okay, the next theorem we're going to talk about is cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, I've not seen many of them, these questions, but um, it's not difficult. A quadrilateral is when I have four sides. Quadrilateral. Oh, I don't know how to spell it. Lateral. A okay, quadrilateral is four sides. Okay. And a cyclic. Cyclic quadrilateral talks about a circle. So a cyclic quadrilateral means all of its corners, all of its vertices, lie on a circle. Okay. And you will notice that basically what we have is an angle on an arc. You see there's an angle on an arc and there's an angle on the arc. Okay? Usually angles on the arc are equal, but that's if they subtended by the same arc. And this one this one here at the top is subtended by this arc. While this one here at the bottom is subtended by that arc, so they're not equal. Okay? But what we are going to call them is the opposite angles. The opposite angles. Angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. adds up to 180 degrees. If I were to take this angle and I add that angle to it, that will add up to 180. Okay, so what's mine to prove? ABC plus ADC equals 180. Thank you. Okay. And here I'll show you the construction again. And then let's talk a little bit about what do you think the idea is going to be. And lo and behold, the construction is. This one doesn't look very nice. Let me, let me just. Okay, I know this doesn't look like the center of the circle. Okay, I'm intentionally putting it there so that it's. Okay. Um, that's O. Okay, I'm going to make O construct. O A and O C. Why do you guys think I did that? What theorem do you think I'm going to use? Just speak louder, please. Angles made by the radar. Angle at center. Angle at center. Because look now, this angle here is double the size of that angle okay this angle on this side okay is double the angle than this angle here on this side these two together add up to 360 these two these add up to 360 but both of them are double these two so those would add up to half that much Okay, so that's the that's that's how simple this proof is. So I'm going to say, let um, A B C equal to X and A D C equal to Y. So I'm just going to say let this one be X and that one be Y. So actually, what I'm going to try and show is I'm going to see if I can show that X plus Y is equal to 180. 
Okay, and that's just to, to make it look a little bit prettier. Okay, now I know that AOC, AOC must be equal to what? AOC, okay, let's call it, let's rather not call it AOC like that because there's two AOCs. There's one here at the top. So let's number this one number one and that one number two. So O2 would be equal to what? Angle O2 would equal? In terms of X or Y? Sorry? Will it be X? Will it be equal to X? Good, y is half of O1, so O1 is double Y. Okay, so let's do that one if you want. O1 is double Y. O2? It's 2X. 2X. Okay, what's our reason? What theorem are we using? Thank you. Angle at center. In both cases, I used angle at center. Okay, now I can add O1 plus O2. I know they're equal to 360 degrees. Why is O1 plus O2 equal to 360? Why is these two together equal to 360? It's called a revolution. Okay, angles around a point, revolution. But now O1 plus O2 is, O1 is equal to 2Y, O2 is equal to 2X, is equal to 360. And now I can just divide everything with a 2. Because then I get Y plus X is equal to 180 degrees. In other words, I've now shown that, that this is true. A, B, A, B, C, and A, D, C. Is equal to 180 degrees.